Thank you. The silent heroes of the Cold War were honored in a memorial today at the Springs Mountains Recreation Park by Mount Charleston. News 3's Christy Wilcox tells us how these families finally got closure 40 years later. On top Mount Charleston, men once left uncovered, not so lonely anymore. For Steve Riri, their story is about peace and prosperity. It is. But for others, it's a chance to say goodbye. Oh, I, you have no idea. 14 men were honored at the first annual memorial for the silent heroes of the Cold War. Their U.S. Air Force aircraft crashed into Mount Charleston in 1955 on a classified mission to see the U-2 spy plane at Area 51. One Area 51 veteran remembers. The one at Area 51, they, they had radio silence, so they weren't talking to anyone. No one was supposed to know it's there. In 1998, Steve Reary got the project declassified. I had a plaque uh, designed to represent peace, which is the olive branches. Incidentally, there are 14 olives for the 14 men who died. That's when their story unfolded 40 years later. And I had prosperity. Just like its crew. These heroes worked in secret to keep the nuclear missiles in the silos, and they brought peace and prosperity to us during a very, very dangerous time in our history. Rue says the memorial has many hidden messages. A tenebris ad lucem is Latin for um, t making darkness into light. So that which was done in secret is now open. Along with a vault that has given the family members a way to finally connect to their loved ones. In the vault are actual plane parts to uh, U.S. Air Force 9068 and also memories that the families brought. And a chance for Southern Nevada to have a memorial unlike any other. I'm Christy Wilcox, News 3.